Hello children, how are you? I hope you all are doing well. Have you started practicing English grammar skills? Are you reading English books? Are you trying on writing different different things in English? And are you most importantly talking to others in English? Very good children, continue doing that because it will make you a pro in English. Okay, now so many chapters, so many poems keep on giving us different different messages. We learn so many things from different poems and chapters. Now there is this poem, okay, which we are about to read, which is going to talk about the wild. Okay, it's going to talk about the animals. So the name of the poem is From the Wild. So let's look at the prologue first to understand in summary what this poem is going to tell us about. We all love animals, don't we? The last thing you would want to do would be to hurt an innocent animal. Although we do not consciously realize it, by keeping animals as pets, we are actually hindering their natural way of life. There are billions of animals in captivity around the world. We must try to understand their plight and should deal with them in a very compassionate way. So, bachcho, do you like animals? Kya aapko animals pasand hai? But aapko aise nahi lagta hai ki animals ko unke habitat se, unke gharo se, unke jo real lifestyle se, unka natural surrounding jo hai, wahan se dur rakhe, hum unke saath, jab hum unhe apne ghar mein rakhte hai, we are doing uh, injustice towards them. Do you think so? Okay, to keep them away from their natural habitat is right? Think over it, children. And now, let's read this poem to understand. Before that, let's warm up. Discuss if it is ethical to keep animals in captivity for research or for our enjoyment. Now, when you see, when you see science in research, then the first thing is that animals are in the same way. human trials are So, do you think it is right to do that? Is it right to uh, put the life of an animal at risk? To hurt an innocent animal, is it right? Think over it. Okay, now quickly read the poem. Let's read. I heard him rustling about in the leaves, in a ditch at the edge of the wood. He was square, he was covered with hair, he squeaked, and he sometimes leaked. He could stand on one leg, and he sat up to beg. When I tickled his feathery tail, his tummy was warm, his nose was cold. I had no idea of his age. His eyes were like buttons of burning gold. And I took him and built him a cage. I papered it, polished it, planned it and put a saucer of cream on the floor. Okay. So, but jo, jo ye poet hai, wo ja raha hota hai, to usko leaves ke rustle honne ki awaz aati hai aur wo dekhta hai ki ek gadde ke andar, uh, jo wood ke paas ek gadda hai, waha pe koi phasa hua hai, ek स्क्वायर सी चीज दिख रही है जिसके पूरे बालों से जो कवर्ड है तो वो स्क्वीक कर रहा है ओके बीच-बीच में लीक कर रहा है उसको एक ही पाव पे खड़ा रह पा रहा है और वो बैक कर रहा है हेल्प के हेल्प मांग रहा है उससे ओके उसकी जो टेल होती है वो फेदरी होती है उसका जो टमी होता है वार्म होता है नोस कोल्ड होता है ओके बट पोएट को पता नहीं होता कि ये कितने साल का है हाउ ओल्ड इज द डॉग दैट ही इज फाउंड ओके or when he looks at him, he sees that his eyes, they are burning gold. They are so beautiful. So, what do you think? He takes it with him and he makes a cage for him. Okay, it's like a kennel he makes for the dog. Okay, he polishes it well. And then he puts it in a saucer and puts it in a saucer and puts it in a saucer and puts it in a saucer. But he pined. He sniffled and whined. He sat and his tail went all flat. He hid in the straw and he scratched at the door. Okay, but वो वो खाता नहीं है, वो पीता नहीं है. He's just whining. Okay, he wants to go somewhere. His tail was went all flat, so he was a little sad. Okay, and he starts scratching the door. So when a dog or any animal wants to leave, generally they start scratching the door. Okay, now let's see how much you followed the poem. For that, what do you have to do? You have to do the performance tracker. Okay. Whenever I entered the room, he covered in a corner, crawled and crept. He never once wanted to play. He watered the cream with his tears when he wept, and his bright eyes began to turn grey. I put him back under the leaves of the ditch, and he whisked away into the wood. 
He was square, he was covered with hair, he squeaked and he sometimes leaked. He could stand on one leg and he sat up to beg. When I tickled his feathery tail, his tummy was warm, his nose was cold, I had no idea of his age. His eyes were like buttons of burning gold and he didn't belong in a cage. So, bachcho, फिर वो जो पोइट होता है वो अपने रूम में जब भी जाके देखता है तो वो देखता है कि जो डॉगी है वो हमेशा एक कॉर्नर में बैठा रहता है क्रॉल कर रहा है क्रीप कर रहा है रो रहा है जो उसके जो आंसू है वो क्रीम में टपक रहे हैं और धीरे धीरे जो उसकी ब्राउन आईज है वो टर्न होके ग्रे हो रही है फिर उसको रियलाइज़ होता है कि ये खुश नहीं है और उसको लेके जाके फिर से वो जहाँ से उसको ढूंढ के लाया था वो डिच के पास वो लेके जाता है वुड्स में उसको छोड़ देता है नियर द लीव्स नियर द एरिया वेर ही वाज फाउंड एंड देन ही सीज दैट ही इज़ वेरी हैप्पी देयर इट्स टोटल एक्सप्रेशंस हैव चेंज्ड ही इज़ लुकिंग एट सो ही इज़ हैप्पी टू बी इन हिज सेफ प्लेस अगेन रादर दैन बींग इन समवंस हाउस इन अ केज ओके सो he realizes the poet realizes that this dog didn't belong in a cage so bachcho hamesha jo animals hum log leke aate bahar se jo animals laate hain okay we have to realize that they belong to a certain habitat they belong to a certain natural surrounding that they used to ओके okay? अगर आप उनको अपने घर लाके unko baandh doge unko andar trap karke rakhoge they will never be happy okay so children love the innocent animals protect them and just don't take them away from where they belong okay now quickly reread this poem do the important words and don't forget to do the back exercises